All right, what am I going for here? An old inner tube from my old quarter scale loader that I got rid of when I got my big skid steer. Yeah, kind of represents an inner tube that I would go on. Now I had a driver for my jet ski. Where did he go? Let's see here. Aha! Yeah! I knew I'd find a use for you one day. And uh, like what? Like that? Like that? Yeah! Get up and get my thrasher! Oh. Hello! Boating season is here. And I'm thinking like... Uh, Wrong scale, but pretty decent. Now I just need a tow rope. And then after a few minutes of figuring things out, he's got some straps. He's got a pull bar there that he's holding on to. I don't want to pull above the wheel or above the uh, inflatable because it'll pull him over. Instead, what I'll do is I'll pull from below, which will still give me quite a bit of pull, but it'll also kind of lift him up in the waves is what I'm thinking. I've never done this before and I'm hoping for the best, but the Thrasher jet boat does not have a prop on the back. Instead, it is a jet propulsion system. Um, so I don't have to worry about this line getting tangled. And I thought, what can I do that we haven't seen before uh, with the Thrasher or an RC boat? And I have never seen someone on an inner tube behind giving it a, a bit of a try in the, in the water. So let's try it on the canal first and see if that even works out. Now, is this going to work? I highly doubt it. But is it worth my time? Absolutely. I've been thinking about this for about two years. I've had this inner tube for a long time. Come on, Raven. Let's go. <laughs> Look at the cloud in the distance. Pretty gloomy day to go tubing, but this water is nice and calm. The canal is full course down there the dam but I think we'll just focus on seeing if this even works to begin with. Are you ready dude? I may never see you again. Okay this is it. Good luck dude. Woohoo have fun. Good luck dude. Woohoo have fun. <sighs> Tubing. Is there anything better to do in the springtime? Now with no rudder, the jet boat actually has to turn the jet and have thrust in order to turn the boat. Oh my God, it's pulling him. <laughs> Come on, turn faster. Just being real gentle on the throttle right now. Just watching him ride. <laughs> so funny, are you kidding me? I don't think anyone's ever seen an RC guy on an inner tube before. Well, he's not an RC guy, I guess, but still. What happens if we go a little faster? Okay, so it drags him. If I go too fast, it wants to drag him, but it, can I get him up on a plane, I wonder? Nope, it creates too much draw. So we may have to, like it's too much drag, we may have to if it's more than just pleasure cruising. Yeah, it starts to, okay, we should almost like put a cover underneath the bottom of the inner tube. So it doesn't like have all that water come out up through his legs. <laughs> I'm gonna tape the bottom and then try it again. Did you have fun on your adventure? <laughs> You're getting pulled the wrong way, by the way. Okay, so a few minutes later, I've gone back to the shop, covered the whole bottom, just left a hole for the string to come through, and I think that'll help uh, uh, lessen the resistance because the water won't be coming up over him anymore. If that was real, a real dude back there, he would have need some scuba diving gear already just to breathe. I'm also gonna shorten my lineup about nine inches just so it's not so long and so much of a drag on the boat. Okay, round two. Good luck, dude. Ugh. Here we go, I get the lead away from anything. Yeah, that's what the hobby's all about for me, just having fun. Ah, I'm floating towards the shore. Let's see how, how, if this works any better. Just trying to straighten out, shorter lead. Oh man, I'm putting on throttle a little bit. 
I'm not having him go way up in the air and I'm not having the boat work so hard right now. Let's try to go a little quicker. Okay, so it still wants to kind of float up a little bit when I pull like that. So maybe I'm going to have to pull above just to kind of see and we'll see if it flops him forward, hey? I know all the engineers that are watching right now are going to be leaving me comments in the comment section telling me how I could do this proper if I don't get it today. I love reading all the comments. They always help me out. <laughs> Dude, I would buy this if it was a combo offered by a company. Okay, raining a little harder now, but I am not giving up. He is strapped in. I think that's going to want to flip him forward, uh, but it really depends on how much resistance we get on the water. Round three. Okay, he's redeployed, floating away with the current. This will be the first time we get to see over the tire and it's pulling him backwards. It seems to have caught him. I'll bring it back. Yeah, that's gonna cause it to dip down because of how it's in the water right now. Is round four any better? Still wants to turn him. Okay, so, oh, now it's caught under his arm. Dang it. Yeah, he's going for a dip now. <laughs> You're drowning me! I can't quite get any air! I would be deeply concerned right now if it was a real person. Okay, so to mitigate the problem of it wrapping around him and wanting to pull him backwards, I've now tied it just a small slip knot to the inner uh, to the inner air uh, nipple. If I'm allowed to say that on YouTube anymore, <laughs> the air, the air attachment, uh, and that should help pull him forward. He won't be perfectly center, but it will be forward. Let's try that out. Does it pull forward? It does. Troubleshooting at its finest, my friends. Look at this. Oh, my Lanta, it is working. Look at this, and the sun came out as well. Faster, yeah. Oh my God, look at that, oh. <laughs> he almost went in. I actually had it going there for a second. Too hilarious. Now, of course, one of the problems, of course, the inner tube is going to get water into it. It's going to want to do exactly that. It's going to want to drag it down now that it's got some water in it. wants to start pulling the tube up in the air. <laughs> Scott, if you're watching right now, bro, who would have thought the designer of Thrasher right now, oh, that would be tubing like this now. So cool. Always bringing game to the RC hobby. Woohoo! Okay, now I know this isn't the end all be all answer, but I did adjust the prop or the thruster I should say, to see if we could get it to handle a little bit better and it is more responsive now. Oh, I'm loving what I'm seeing. Just trying to get a nice calm shot here for you without too much excitement. And I think just because it's slightly off center it might cause an issue, but look at that. It's working! I thought about this all winter long because I have had this inner tube for my quarter scale loader or fifth scale loader for a long time, the extra tire. I just never threw it away and I thought, oh, I could probably use it as an inner tube one day for a boat. And there it is. not slightly to the right hand side it's pulling more even but still he's kind of leaning back to the left hand side
Oh, he's hopping. Oh, he went under. Oh, he's under. I guess the next step would be the dam, but I don't think it's stable enough yet for the dam. Obviously, there's a lot of white water there. This boat, you know, has to make it up the dam under its own power and then dragging a giant inner tube, I don't think will be possible, even though I'm still going to try it one day. Maybe you guys can give me ideas on how to make this more stable. I still want it to look kind of scale, right? I don't want it to be, have like pontoons on the side, but if we got to, we got to. Yeah. Just a day on the water. Woo! Oh. <laughs> Pretty typical. 